Hello, my name is Simon Francis. I've worked with Utopia since I was 15 years old. They called me a teacher. It was my job to administer the cure to my students and monitor its side effects. When on the cure, you have no free will. There is no thought. Utopia first used the cure to create an army of utterly obedient perfect soldiers. Now Utopia has total control of every aspect of society. If people can learn how the world used to be, what it can be again, perhaps freedom can return. Utopia called me a teacher. The greatest challenge is to teach them how to be students. I'm glad you all can make it. Can any of you tell me why you're here? No, I didn't think so. You're here to learn. To learn anything. Now, I know that you've been told many things. We know that the sky is blue. You know that you have two hands and two feet. What do you know? I know that I serve the great and good leader. I live for him and because of him. Praise the leader! Praise, Praise the, the leader. leader! As I thought. And what has the leader done for you? Everything. He provides for my family, gives me life. Are you hungry? A little. But the leader provides everything that is needed. When necessary, I will eat, should it please him. There was a time when man and woman could decide when to eat and what to eat. What you had belonged to you, not the state, not the leader. Here, what do you think this is? This is a one dollar bill. One of the last remains of what once ruled our society. There are very few left of these. Your leader destroyed most of them during the takeover. This was once a symbol of possession and power and freedom and independence. An idea that is long extinct. I want you to take a moment and just think about if what you have is truly yours. For five tireless years, I have uncovered documents and artifacts from our past. There are only a handful of people that can remember a time before the war, and no one will ever admit to it. I've read books on politics and society, on economics, a concept that no longer exists. In the time before free will, the television was more than just a media for propaganda and art. Art, a purely aesthetic form of expression and freedom no longer exists. It says so much about the world and society. If I could bring back the concept of art, perhaps I could bring back something once forgotten. One day I decided to experiment on one of my students. Instead of the cure, I gave him a placebo. I told him of my discoveries of my work. I attempted to free his mind of control. And I saw a difference in him, a look of curiosity. And with that came withdrawal. With each day he grew worse, just difficulty breathing, profuse sweating and madness. He would explain intense hallucinations and, and extreme anxiety. And one day, he took an empty glass bottle, smashed it, and slit his throat. As I attempt this again, I must be more careful. 
Can anyone tell me what this is? The, the cure. cure. Correct. What is its purpose? It remedies the sickness. It helps us breathe. And it helps us feel. And serve the leader. Well, you're half right. It does help you serve the leader. In fact, it makes you serve the leader. What you have believed to be the cure for the past few days has been nothing but a placebo. The cure made you think and act the way the leader wanted you to. You no longer have to live in the darkness. You can embrace the light. You can choose free will. If you're watching this, I'm surely dead or worse. It is only a matter of time before one of my students turns me in or kills me, but I know I reach them. They may not realize it now, but I know that they will. If, if only they just take one glimpse of the truth, they will not go back to the existence they once knew. If only I had a little more time, I can do that. <laughs>